What's going on, Vault Hunters? Big Bad Dirty Dog here, coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back here on Borderlands 3 with another episode in my series, Legendary Weapon Farming Guide Review, where I show you where to farm the best legendary weapons in the game, minus that in the arms race DLC, because that's too much of a pain in the badonka donk. So with further ado, let's get right into it. So this week we are taking a look at the Sandhawk, now, for fans of the game, if you remember back in Borderlands 2, the Sandhawk was a legendary SMG, where it would show orbs that fly in the shape of a bird that flaps its wings. Well, they decided to bring it back for Borderlands 3, but this time, rather than an SMG, it's in a sniper rifle form. Now, it is in the base game, so if you don't have any DLC, if you're not, it's all good. And it is a doll sniper rifle. It comes in all the elements, it comes in incendiary, it comes in shock, it comes in corrosive, it comes in cryo, and it comes in radiation. You can see the one I got here is in shock form. If you want a legendary, not legendary, if you want a max level one, sorry it's been a long day, make sure you are at level 72. That doesn't matter, a mayhem level 10 or 11. The max damage is 45,098 times 7, which I do not have. 61% accuracy, 72% handling, 2.0 seconds reload time, 7.31 second fire rate, 20 magazine size, bonus stats, 10% critical hit damage, 21% weapon fire rate, 15% reload speed, consumes 3 ammo per shot. And now the beauty of this, it does swap between fully automatic and semi-auto would be the best one. But you can get this in either full auto and three round burst, full auto and semi auto, and three round burst and semi auto. Now, much like the one from Borderlands 3, it does shoot seven slow orbs that fly in the shape of a bird that flaps its wings. And semi auto firing mode reduces the horizontal spread. Orbs deal weapons splash damage of whatever, like in this case, the shot. I'm going to show you that now. Right now, I am going to be using, for the purpose of this video, Blastmaster with 14% daw weapon damage and Electro Banjo for 20% shock damage because we have a shock one. Now this works between burst fire. So you can kind of see it, it kind of shoots like that. Or semi-auto. Now to get one of these bad boys, you're going to go to Atlas Headquarters. And you're going to come through here, you're going to hang a right. You go all the way over here, all the way over here, up through this way, up through this way, up through this way, up through this way. You're going to go to the lobby of self-actualization, where you're going to find an elevator. You're going to take that elevator up, and you're going to come to the CEO's office, and you're going to jump down, and you're going to find Katagawa Jr. Now, you have to be on Mayhem 6 or above to get this, and it's a 16.5% drop rate, and this farm really sucks. It took me 15 times to get this. Or you can get it from Anathema. Again, you have to be on Mayhem 6 or above, and it's only a 2.44% chance to drop. Or you can get it from Scourge. Again, you have to be at Mayhem 6 or above. And again, it is only a 2.44% chance to drop, so this is not a fun farm at all. I say it took me about 15 times to get this. But yeah, you definitely want to go to Atlas Headquarters. Now, I've used this before. Again, you could build around it if you get stats and do like doll weapon damage, sniper rifle damage, whatever element you have damage. It could be a viable option. It's good on Zane, you know, with him having another one. It could be good on Flak or Amara. It could be good on Moe's. I'm just not really a big fan of some of the sniper rifles in this game. I don't really feel they're as powerful. And the one I have is a very low tier one. It's probably one of the worst versions in the game. So I, I don't really suspect I'm going to do well this time, but I'm going to show you anyway. Now I may have to use my Iron Bear on this, because this isn't a fun fight, because when the fight starts he'll split into four different ones, three of them are fake, and one is actually him. 
So you gotta take out all the fake ones before you actually get to fight him. So to have an Iron Bear in this fight will definitely be uh, advantageous. So here we go. We'll do semi-auto. And we're at the CEO's office. So make sure you come over here if you haven't already in case you didn't know that was here. Make sure you grab that. And then there is an ammo weapon machine right here. See, it doesn't really do hardly anything. Okay, then he's going to be one up here. Okay, I just killed him and now I'm going to sit here and die. There we go. <laughs> He does give drops a fair amount of money and uh, iridium, so if you're looking to farm that, this is definitely the place to go. There's a fun little room back here you can kind of explore and go into. This is where you come after the mission's over when you're playing the game. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's decent. Again, if you build around the gun, it can be alright. I'm not really a big fan of it, I probably won't keep this. I'm going to give this, I like the better in SMG form to be honest, but I'm going to give this weapon a 6 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, it's also featured in this week's uh, Maurice's Black Market vending machine, so I'll put a link to that video up in the right hand corner in case you want to check that out. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what do you think of this weapon. Are you going to farm it? Are you going to get on the vending machine? I want to know. Let me know what kind of build you have. Who are you using it on? What kind of success are you having with it? I want to know that. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, love and appreciate all you take time to watch, comment, like, and share my videos. It means the world to me. Much love to all your beautiful faces. If you are enjoying the content, as always, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share the video as it helps me out immensely. So until next time, stay awesome, stay amazing, and stay wonderful, stay fantastic, and as always, stay beautiful, my friends.